What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Bros podcast. What's up, everybody? Episode number 33. Today is July 6th, 2020. July 6th. Hopefully, everyone had a, um, a nice, long holiday weekend. Um, my name is Harrison. I'm joined with my brother, Nick, as always. What's going on, Nick? Yeah. Not that much. I hope everyone celebrated responsibly. Yeah. By that, I mean not being with too many people, not being around too many people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm in, I'm in Florida right now, and the beaches just – they they closed um, Fourth of July weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, that's probably a good idea. It's just so bad here. Like, people don't care. Um, Alicia and I have gotten some – or one dirty look from a guy who – who walked by us and we were wearing a mask and it was just like like at a pier and like we like were coming from an area that was like kind of had like a decent amount of people yeah so like we had on our masks and we walked by and of course it's like the most florida looking guy you can imagine he just gives me a death stare yeah i mean i'm not necessarily like if i go out to public like i'm not scalding anybody for not wearing a mask but mm -hmm. i also like would never be like, why are you wearing a mask? Like, it's pointless, you know? Yeah. It's just stupid. It, it, uh, our Uncle Robbie showed me this video of this guy that was, like, pissed off that Roy Cooper, our our governor, was mm -hmm. making everybody wear masks now or something. Um, and he, like, wrote this song, whatever. And it was just, like, the most ignorant way of looking at it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. It's like a, it's like a whole different world down here. Yeah almost yeah oh i'm sure mm. and it's yeah it's one of the worst performing states so yeah florida yeah. florida Makes does sense. not care <laughs> they do not care they haven't cared about anything else while they're going to care about yeah wearing well, masks now. yeah <laughs> but yeah um welcome to the show guys um got some pretty good stuff news wise this week uh coming off fresh from uh the last of us spoiler cast if you guys haven't listened to that i would highly recommend going to um yeah I, we I'm dive talking about it yeah we, we dove pretty hard into it. we kind of went through like kind of day by day like kind of the major story beats mm -hmm. and kind of you know gave our opinion oh, oh i don't know if you played since um how, how do you feel a week later kind of obviously sto spoiler for you how, how do you feel coming off that now that you're less high coming off of it i still feel the same and i guess so we had the we had the podcast last Monday, and that was that was about a week removed from when yeah. I completed it, or when I beat it. Um, yeah, I still feel as strongly as I did about it a week ago. Like I still think it was an amazing story, and yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Was, I was listening. Was so good. Yeah, I was listening to a podcast earlier while I was at work, and um, like half of the half of the the people in the show were like super high about it, and then some were just like super negative, like this just isn't the game. They were like, this game shouldn't have been released at this time. It's blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I mean, cause like playing that, so like a week removed now, I don't, I don't think it's the greatest story of all time. I, I don't really think it's, it's really hard for a video game. Cause I see a lot of video games, get, or especially this one, like getting compared to like Schindler's list and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't think it's that level just because at the end of the day, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's still a video game. You still have those video game tropes. You still get shot a thousand times in the game. And then in the cutscene, you get shot and you're like wounded forever. So it's like, yeah. it's not, it's not perfect. And video games will probably never be like that. I mean, not that I can imagine. Right. Um, that being said, like, I still don't feel like it's, it's definitely a brutal game, mm -hmm. but it's not as like it's not so dark that i think that you're just going to be miserable playing and, and maybe you are i don't know but um, yeah i think i think people like I was reading yeah go ahead i was i was reading reviews beforehand and they're like this is the darkest game i've ever played and it just made me feel so terrible i think that was kind of dramatized a little bit just it was of, and i, I think it's because of what's been going on like around the world um but i think that this the game is so far gone between our current state versus, you know, the game, the video game's current state. It's just, it's night and day. It's, I mean, yeah, yes, it's a pandemic. Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't like, like you said, I think the reviewers and some other folks in the, in the industry are just kind of 
over dramatizing like the darkness of this game because yes it is a dark game don't get me wrong like it's it's brutal it's it's dark but it's not i don't know it's it's not so dark that i need you know i need to recover from it like right so maybe i mean maybe we're desensitized to it yeah i mean i don't know (laughs) i mean i've played games all my life where i'm murdering people yes this is probably like the most visceral that i've played but um But I don't. I just don't think it's so dark that it, you're gonna have trouble getting through it. But I mean, every, everyone's got their own opinion, and, and maybe for some it's a little bit harder than others. But I, I don't know. I just. Yeah, I mean, I get. I, I get that it's obviously not the. I mean, would it ever be the best time to release this game? Like, no. If it's, it's a, if it's a uh, like a gory, sad game, like. It's never going to be a good time to release it. Yeah, and they and, you know, they were in the podcast I was listening to. They they were saying that they didn't feel like they were informed enough to go into it that it was going to be this dark. I'm like, come on! You knew exactly what you were getting into from like all the trailers and playing the first one. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know, it was. I just felt like it was wet, like very over dramatized yeah. for the sake of just being, you know. Anyways, I after listening to them, I I want to go back through it again. Um, I'm thinking about 100%ing it, getting all the collectibles and upgrades mm-hmm. and stuff. But I I really just want to play it again. Um, yeah, because it was it was a, it was a fun game to play it too. It like, was. I think I think I'll play through it again. Obviously, yeah, not in the next few weeks because I I don't even have my PS4 or Xbox down here. I just had the Switch. Right. Um, but I I'll definitely I'm definitely gonna revisit it. And yeah. Just kind of, just try to blast through it again and i mean skipping all the cutscenes and everything i I, that it can be a 15 hour game yeah less than that yeah probably less than that yeah all right let's go ahead and dive into uh what we've been playing this week um you want to start it off you you go first because i'm 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 excited to hear about okay uh, what you've been playing cool um so i i didn't i didn't list this but i uh i did i I talk about last week 100 100 percent of spider-man i did all the dlc and stuff I can't remember if I did or not. I think you did. I think you did mention that. Um, the only two trophies I have left in that game is to beat the game on New Plus, New Game Plus, like the main story, and beat it on like the hardest difficulty. And I just don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Could I you may do New Game Plus on the hardest difficulty. You can, yeah, you can. Mm, um, I might do that eventually, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I've, I've played so much of that game, and it's it's been so good. Um, and you're so close. I know, I know. I'll probably do it like, I don't know, maybe in October or something when like Spider Man. Well, it's not like I'm planning on getting the PS5 day one. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe closer to uh, Spider Man Miles Morales. Um, yeah. But I uh, had purchased Uncharted Lost Legacy a few weeks ago and uh, I dove into that. And it was like kind of the perfect game to play right after um, The Last of Us. Uh, same developer. Um, not, I don't think it's the same team that does like the traditional Uncharted. Uncharted. So I think it might be. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just like a smaller version of the main team. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was like a seven-hour game, super short. Um, it's funny because like playing that, you can definitely see a lot of things. And granted, it's the same developer, but you can definitely see a lot of things that they took from there and brought it over to The Last of Us. Um, like the very beginning of the game, like the first main area is kind of this open world, a very small open like sandbox world where you have like a, a jeep or whatever, and you can do missions and stuff, and you can you pick up missions along the way. Um, there's collectibles to find. There's like a bunch of like uh, um, puzzles that you can do. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. Like you find these coins, and you have to find eleven of them that are marked throughout your throughout the world of the map or whatever um that being said uh i love uncharted and i love like climbing and stuff but the shooting is garbage <laughs> it's like compared to <laughs> compared to the last of us like it being so clean and so tight mm-hmm. that this is just kind of all over the place um and i definitely got frustrated at a couple points in the game just from like the shooting especially where like you're trying to maneuver the environment like while jumping and stuff and trying to to shoot and stuff yeah um i remember the bloom being really bad like with the yeah like radical yeah it's it's games. yeah it's definitely not as tight as like the last of us 
Um, but I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you can find it for super cheap and you like Uncharted for the most part, because yeah. um, I, I feel like if Uncharted, Uncharted 4, it, like it drug on. And I know some people say like The Last of Us 1 and 2 um, did the same, but I was just so enthralled with that world that I could play more if, if need be. Um, but Uncharted, it kind of, especially 4, um, it kind of was de- def- definitely long in the tooth. And this was this was perfect because right towards the end of the game, I was like, all right, I think I'm ready to be done with this game. And then sure enough, sure enough, it ended. Um, but yeah, it's nice. definitely like a nice little game to, to play right after The Last of Us. And it's a normal length game, I guess, eight, seven, probably anywhere between mm-hmm. seven to 10 hours, depending on if you're trying to get every collectible. But yeah. Do you think it's, do you think it's comparable in quality to Uncharted 4 or... Oh yeah, it's super. It's super yeah. pretty. Um, I mean, of course, all the the voice acting is good. Um, uh, like the way they move out in the environment, it's always it's it's good. Uh, it's, mm-hmm. I mean, you can barely tell that it's kind of a a lower tiered Uncharted game. Nice, man. So, I, yeah, I've I've really been wanting to play it. Like, yeah. Uh, Maybe you can catch it on sale for like ten. I think it normally it's twenty bucks now, mm-hmm. but even even then, I would say it's probably worth the twenty bucks. Um, but yeah, just it's it's hard going backwards um, from the tightness of Last Last of Us Two to this. It's it's a little bit yeah. a weird transition. Um, the gunplay isn't as good. Uh, even the controls are not as great as well. Um, just like it's so it's tight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend it if you if you've never played nice. it before. I definitely would recommend it as a as a good like a solid Uncharted game. So having having played, you've played every Uncharted now, right? Mm-hmm. what's your favorite one uh two is definitely my favorite like okay two two is my my favorite uncharted game i would say the last of us two is probably my favorite naughty dog game and then two uncharted two is like the second one um okay that that game is that, uncharted two is like i just think it's perfectly paced it doesn't overstay its welcome um yeah i mean it's been a it's been a while since i played two but I, I just remember that game being like flawless, like like ten out of ten for me. That was even the multiplayer was fantastic. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I I still think Uncharted Four is my favorite. I don't know why. I just really like good. The, the story in that one, but Uncharted Two is my first first game. That was like when I first got the yeah the PlayStation Four. Yeah, that's a good one to start I with. That collection. I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, I'm not gonna start with one. I'm gonna go ahead and just yeah. go to the best one. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I need to replay like maybe three and four. Um, three was good. It was just that one was a little long. Yeah, um, I feel like that one overstayed its welcome more so than than four did. Yeah, yeah, four four was good. I, I really did enjoy like that that closure of like Nathan Drake uh, and Elena. Is it Elena? Is that? I think that's. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think it's something like that. Um, yeah, that that was a that was a really good game as well. Um, and then um, I finally played uh, Days Gone. Um, I've had that and since like Black Friday it. last year. I don't hate it. Um, I definitely think that Sony thought this was going to be the next The Last of Us. Um, there's definitely tons of like just the way the the game plays, uh, like the crafting and stuff in the world. All the, all the ammunition and items you find throughout the world is kind of the same. That being said, like as soon as I like I got to like the first, the zombies in this game are called freakers. So uh, that's kind of a lame term for for them. But um, like the first the first time you kill you kill like the like you you get up to a human or whatever. It, it, granted, it's like in the first ten minutes of the game, um, they're like blocking the road and they're like he's like oh we should be careful because I've heard of people attacking and then like two seconds later you get attacked and then you like kill kill a couple of humans. It's, it's not very the graphics are good, um, but like the animations aren't the greatest. Um, really? Yeah, uh, but I like the world; it's cool. Like the motorcycle's cool. Um, so far, the characters have been okay. Like the main protagonist is like a a biker biker gang, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I mean, take take for that what you will, but uh, it's not over the top annoying biker gang like I thought mm-hmm. it was going to be. Um, that being said, the the gunplay kind of sucks. Like it's not. That's a bummer. And granted, like The Last of Us, like I keep I keep bringing that up, but like that gunplay is so good. Mm-hmm. 
and just going from that to this, it's not as great. So um, it's, it's still functional. Like I'm still, I still plan on probably getting going through it. Cause I've, I've enjoyed it at least that One much. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I might not do like every side mission or whatever. I might just do the main, main story or whatever. But, um, but I enjoy so it so far. The story, like the story takes place right as the outbreak is happening. Is that what? No, it's so like, it starts out like, I think like right when the outbreak started, um, I don't really want to give any spoilers away, but then it cuts like 735 days okay. after the outbreak. So what, two and a half two years, years or something like that, two years. Yeah. Um, so it's, you know, two years from like the, the initial outbreak and stuff. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I like it enough to where I want to play it more. So that's more than I thought I was, I thought I was gonna play it for once and be done. Um, that's good. Although it is kind of an open world game. So I'm like, eh. That, that's still kind of like you want to yeah but um but yeah it's it's cool it's it's you could definitely definitely tell that it was supposed to be like the next last of us but it is definitely not but so it's it was still trying hard yeah yeah um what's do you know what studio made days gone ah uh, hold on let me let me check the game box uh it's a studio called bend studio so I don't know. Is I don't a, know. Is that a second party studio for Sony? I don't know. Let me hmm. end studio. I haven't, it, I haven't heard no, of it's, them before. They're over 25 years of experience. Ben Studio is a Sony first party AAA game developer. Oh, it's Sony first party. Okay. Yeah, so it's first party. Um, okay, so they made Uncharted Golden Abyss. Like for the, the, for the. Is- for the Vita, Vita, yeah. Which I heard, I've always heard that was like a pretty solid, pretty solid game. Uh, I believe they've made they've made the Sy- Siphon Filter games, which, are, which I've never played. Mm. Uh, they they they've made Resistance Retribution. Is that the? That's a PS3 game. That can't be right. Go, wasn't that? That was Insomniac that made that, right? Resistance. Maybe they handed it off. To maybe yeah, let's try and go to the website. No, nope, it's not loading up for whatever reason. But uh, um, yeah, it's um, it's a it's a solid game yeah. so far. Um, and then I had uh, well, I guess we we forgot to kind of talk about how our week was, but um, we had we went over to uh, to our grandma's house over Fourth of July and like swam in the pool and stuff like that. And I took my switch with me, but I never, I never ended up t- uh, touching it. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I got back uh, last night, I was like, kind of want to play something a little bit different. So I booted up Pokemon Sword. Um, haven't played that since wow, February, maybe March. <laughs> having a, having a good time with it, actually. No way. Um, I beat another. Like I, I did, I did. Uh, I ran through a, a route or whatever. Route eight, and I did the the rock gym, and um, how many gyms is that in? I, I don't know, six maybe. Six, okay. Six or seven. Um, it's I'm having a good time. Uh, it's yeah, I, it's, you've gotten away from it a little bit. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I think I'll probably end up beating it. I'll probably like slow burn it a little bit more. Like a, it's like kind of like the perfect end of the day. You're laying in bed kind of game. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I could probably play more than like an hour of it at a time, but but yeah, I'm I was kind of like pleasantly surprised because I was trying to try to play something different, and uh, I was like, well, I'll just I'll try this out again, and nice. I'm, I'm liking it. I, I'm liking it. I did pick it up about a month ago, a month and a half ago, and just I finished the eighth gym. Yeah. So now I just have the um, the elite four okay. left. Who knows <laughs> when I'll get to them? But. Yeah. It's um still the same things bother me. Like the, fo- the fact there's no voice acting. Uh, the next one's got to have it. Um, and it's too easy. Like I yeah. was just using my main starter like almost the whole time, and just blasting people away. So yeah. I, I don't know. And the fact that you can you can play through a whole gym. And like I don't know if you do this, but sometimes I'll I'll keep around like a lower level Pokemon just to level it up yeah. throughout the battles. 
And like the fact that I can keep one around, keep one or two around during a gym battle is kind of disappointing because yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't test your test your skill as much at all. No, not at all. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably the most baby if baby baby if I Pokemon game I've played, but mm-hmm. eh, it's okay. So so now that you're now that you're a big time Pokemon fan, <laughs> are you gonna get the DLC? No, I don't think Armor? so. I don't think no? so. I haven't heard anything great about it. Like, I mean, I haven't heard like much negative stuff, but mm. it doesn't seem like it's much like super new about it that like I want to dive in. I mean, maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe over time or something. I mean, if you love the wild area, then I guess. Which I didn't. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just uh, I don't know. I I th- I really I think Game Freak has some some quality issues that they need to work on. Yeah, and like just I mean, going back to like the whole Dexit thing last year, where you know they have almost more than half the the Pokemon uh, Pokedex or whatever, and they they claimed that it was for uh, like animations in the game, and when like I was playing and this, I can't remember what the move is called, but the Pokemon literally bounced up and down and spun in a circle, like the legs didn't move at all or anything, and I'm like animations really you just want to sell us pokemon come on let's just be real about that like if it if you're claiming animation and you want to have if you and you want to you know have only a third of the pokemon pokedex available like those animations better be like they'll be top notch better be like top tier like triple a because i don't know man i mean i I I laughed out loud like i I, I was like I was like, well, are you serious? Because I was like, I almost forgot about it. And then I was like, wait, weren't they supposed to? I was like, man, they're supposed to be like super animated now. He just hopped. They didn't do anything. <laughs> and when you like, when you think about it, like Game Freak ha- doesn't have a great pedigree of, of games outside of Pokemon. It's like they got handed Pokemon. Yeah. And it was like a surefire hit. And then, I mean, they've been doing yeah. the same I mean, thing. I mean, they had that, what, Little Town years. Hero game? Yeah, that one was that apparently was hated not great. by a lot of people. Yeah, I think I think it came to the PS4 and Xbox, didn't it? Or just PS4? It, I, think I know just it was dropped. I know on Xbox, it was like okay. Yeah, I know it was definitely on PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't really even like the trailers and stuff. It just that gameplay didn't look great. But yeah, but yeah, I think the next one they they have to absolutely just change it up significantly because I think even like hardcore Pokemon fans are kind of not over it, but just kind of at that last bit of like man i don't know if i ever want to play the next one and i'm definitely there maybe maybe this dlc is going to be good because they're not doing a full flesh game so they have time to yeah put more of their efforts into another one yeah i don't know i don't want to be too negative yeah i mean it's still like like a yeah it's still a pokemon game it's still not terrible but it's just not it's not even that's bad it's just like it's, I mean, it's the first time that it was coming to the Switch, like the first main Pokemon. I know we got Let's Go beforehand, but I mean, this was supposed to be like the the big Pokemon leap, and it just wasn't that. So it wasn't. Um, but yeah, what um, that is all I have been playing. Sorry, I just probably like blew your eardrums out. What have you been oh, playing? Know, <laughs> um, nothing like nothing new for me. Um, I I jumped back into The Witcher. Okay. And I finished Heart of Stone. Or Hearts? Hearts of Stone. Oh, cool. Sweet. God, what a freaking, what a great story. It, it uh, takes like a, the classic story where you, you make a wish. Okay. And you don't necessarily get what you wish for. Normally okay. because you're not specific enough or whatever happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a classic, yeah. like genie. Yeah, genie like a genie kind of wish. Situation. So it's, it's, like a, it's like a twist on that story, but it's really, really good. And the characters in, in that DLC are like my favorite. Which now, is this is this like the better one of those DLCs? I think story wise, it's better, but it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't include a new area, right? No. Okay. Okay. Blood and Wine is the one that has like the new island that you go to. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Cool. Region. So I think I'm gonna jump into that at some point. Maybe not now. Yeah. Um, just because Paper Mario is coming out soon. Ah, oh, no, I can't wait. I Paper right Mario there. and Ghost of Tsushima, man. I. I... You gonna, are you gonna get both? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I will, but probably not the same day. I just don't yeah. have time to play like two big games. I'm definitely probably gonna get Paper Mario first, and then 
re- look at the reviews for Tsushima. Um, just because I'm not 100% sold on it. I'm, I, I like what yeah, I see, um, especially with that, that gameplay, like 20-minute gameplay video we got. But, um, yeah. I thought it was weird. And I've never really seen this before, I guess outside of outside of Last of Us. But mm-hmm. I feel like every um, every like company and every influencer like made a PSA that they were playing Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I saw it too, and like, and like, people were playing Cyberpunk as well. Um, I don't know if it was like a marketing thing where part of their probably their contract was that they had to post that they were playing it. Probably, yeah, I'm sure. Like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, I've never really seen people yeah. being so upfront that they're that they're reviewing a game. I just think that it's like, and and, great, and they have every right to be like Sony first party has killed it like but i feel like sony and like the sony i don't want to say fanboys but like i I feel like they're so high and like so kind of pretentious about pompous yeah (laughs) about their games and like they're like i mean the people that were poo-pooing on the last of us i mean people were like going ham and like even like the people some people were i don't know if you saw but they were doing like death threats and stuff to like neil Druckmann and laura bailey that played uh yeah, abby oh god <laughs> like death what are you over, doing uh, over a video, over a video game, game. ridiculous um to someone who didn't have any involvement in the writing at all like just yeah an actress who played a character I, yeah i feel like i don't know i feel like just there's some level of like pretentiousness that comes from like sony Sony fanboys and stuff like kind that. Of entitlement which, too. Yeah, like an entitlement. Like they deserve something. I mean, and, but I mean, like I said, like the last this generation, God of War, Horizon. I mean, there's been so many fantastic first party Sony games. Um, like mm-hmm. the I mean, outside of like uh, the order was kind of I still want to play that game by the way. The order, like eighteen eighty eight or whatever. <laughs> Did you, have you played it? No, I I do not want to play it. <laughs> I heard it was like almost no gameplay. It was just like all like quick, quick uh, but um, <laughs> outside of like that, maybe like Days Gone where it wasn't quite there. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, they've killed it. So yes, I, I get the entitlement, but just stop. Just stop. Just um, stop. Yeah, people, lo- people lose their freaking minds over Sony and anything that they do. And if you like poo-poo Sony at all, it's like they come out of the woodworks. Like, <laughs> yes, we know that Microsoft first party games are, very few and far between. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we'll see, you know, in a couple of weeks, but just chill out, man. <laughs> just chill and stop treating it like the Game of Thrones finale because this oh, was God. actually a good ending to a game. So just... <laughs> yeah, people lose people lose their minds over this as much as they do, like, the Snyder cut of Batman... <laughs> or of freaking... What is it? Batman versus Superman or uh, Justice, Justice League or whatever. Justice I think League. it's Justice League. Like... Mm-hmm. The movie was bad. Like, what's a? I don't know. Anyway, a few scenes around isn't going to change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's whatever. I've never seen it, so I can't really, yeah, judge it that way. But I don't know. Anyways, well, back to uh, back to what you've been playing. Sorry for that little God. side tangent. We keep getting <laughs> the last of us. It just keeps on coming up. It's it's a fantastic game, man. Yeah. Don't don't do death threats. Come on. Don't never do death threats for anything at all. <sighs> Yeah. Um, but aside from that, I jumped back into Slay the Spire. Oh man, <laughs> God. that's it's like, like a, that's like your game of 2020, man. It really is. Like I jump, I jump into it, and then I I'm sucked in for like hours and hours. And just, yeah. God, it's like a drug. I just can't stop. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> um, but they added that fourth character, mm. and I beat beat it with the fourth character. So I've I've beaten it with all all four. Was it DLC or was it like a free update or something? No, it was a free free update. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So, God, I know I tell you this every time and you're never going to buy it, but <laughs> you got to get it. <laughs> it's never on sale. I didn't catch it on sale. I don't know. No, I'll probably... I, I think it's, what, 20, 25 normally? Yeah, I think so. It might have gotten in when it was 20. Oh, okay. Um, I'll have to check it out eventually. I, I mean, I like card games, so. Yeah. yeah if you like card games, yeah, like – spending an hour and a half on a run to lose and yeah I, I was run. almost because i almost was going to and i still might because i remember i had said i'm gonna bring the magic cards with me mm-hmm. i was thinking about just going out and like just buying like a like a preset deck or something just i don't know just for the heck of it <laughs> of magic cards yeah 
Do they? What do you think? Where can you get them? Where can you get them? Target, Walmart. You think they, you think they still have magic? Oh, I know oh yeah, I've seen. Uh, no, I've seen. I've when I've been there and like walked past that area. There's like a ton of stuff. And I've been watching. Um, occasionally, uh, Aaron from Game Grumps. He does like yeah. live openings of like the booster booster sets or whatever booster boxes. Oh, he does. And like, it, yeah, it's kind of like a little nostalgia um, factor. And then I, I started watching this one guy on uh, YouTube. He's like, he opens like mainly like old school like Pokemon packs that are still sealed. And like, that's like got the nostalgia flowing. So like, I I keep wanting to go back up and look at the Pokemon cards and there's seeing there's anything worth anything. So yeah, what's the, <laughs> what's that guy's name? Uh, his name is Leon. Leon Hart. Was he the one that opened up a the fifty five thousand dollar Charizard? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that man. That he said well, so it, heartwarming. Well, it's crazy because he sent it off to um to PSA like the the main like grader of of cards in general, and it got lost in the mail. Shit. So I don't know. He still says it hasn't been found, but he's 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 hopeful. So. I don't know. Oh, why did he send it off? I, I think he lives in Texas and like the places in California. So he, I don't know him. I don't know. That is just yeah. like sending $55,000 in the mail. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Hopefully he oh. finds it because I, I want to see what like what it, what it comes back as because like it's great in like on a 10 point scale, 10 being the best, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was a really cool video because just like it, but like all of his videos are like that. Whenever you pull something like pretty cool. Like he like, I don't know. He's just he's just fun he to watch. He's so careful. Too, yeah, like, he's like shaking he, and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Another uh, tangent. Uh, continue on with Slay the Spire. <laughs> that was it. That was it for Slay the Spire. Nice. Yeah, I I, I want to. There are twenty ascension levels. So once you beat it, there are like different um modifiers. Okay. That make it a little bit harder each time. But I still haven't beaten it again with with any of the characters so it's i'm not good at the game by any means um but i love playing it yeah it's fun cool yeah that's i think that's been it for me i've just kind of been bopping around games yeah not really yeah we were on vacation and stuff so yeah it's kind of hard to sit down and play for hours and hours at a time Mm -hmm. yeah that's true all right you want to go ahead and jump on into the uh the news of the week let's do it all right, you want to go, go ahead and read the first story because I actually did not see this one. This is a big one. This is has some big ramifications potentially, but I uh, said so, so the 2K21 price got revealed, and it was a little confusing at first, but the gist of it is yeah, they always have like a ton of different tiers with 2K21, yeah, or 2K in general. I mean. Mm-hmm. So I, I'll, I'll go biggest first. If you get the one hundred dollar Mamba edition, which is like really cool that they're doing, that they're doing that. Um, you get like the base Xbox One or PS4 game, and then you get a free upgrade to Series X or PS5. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and then if you buy the Xbox One or PS4 edition for sixty dollars. The PS5 and Series X are just going to be seventy, and I don't think you can upgrade. Maybe it's maybe. You... Oh, uh, they might yeah, be like no. a. There's no ten dollar upcharge or anything like that. No, I don't think so. Uh, that's kind of shitty. Yeah, I don't like but that. The I but guess I mean main... I guess everything doesn't have to go over, but yeah. But the main takeaway is that this is the first next gen game that's going to be seventy dollars. So the base price is seventy for the, the next base gen. price, and I also read that other developers were were looking into that. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, back back in the day, like, like certain N sixty four games would be anywhere between like eighty and a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, and then once once we got to the three sixty PS three uh, era, era, um, it it jumped up from the forty nine ninety nine to the to the fifty nine ninety nine, which we've been used to for you know so many years now Hmm. honestly i wouldn't mind paying 70 bucks for a video game just because like i mean especially for some like really awesome triple a games that we know take a lot of time i i I don't think i'd mind paying an extra 10 bucks um i think it's kind of due yeah yeah it's i think we're due every 
I, I don't necessarily want to see this every time there's like a new console generation jump, but like every two. Yeah, I mean, but video games are super expensive to make. Um, so I'm honestly surprised this has, hasn't already happened. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. And, and you saw what happened with the DS. Like it started with 30 bucks and then, yep. you know, the Pokemon's come out and it goes up to 40. And then yeah. it goes up to 40. Like you kind of see it everywhere else except like the mainline consoles. Yeah. Um, I do kind of feel like that hundred dollar price point for the mom edition is kind of shitty if you buy it for like Xbox One and PS4 and then you you get the free upgrade. But uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff that comes in that edition, um, and that's gonna that one's probably gonna sell a crap ton just because of what happened to Kobe or whatever. Um, yeah. But eh, I don't know. I'm I'm not about getting charged extra. I don't know. Because I think some companies did that last gen too, where like if you had bought, you pay like an extra 10 bucks or something and you could get yeah. um, an upgraded version or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's definitely weird, I think. I mean, Cause if, yeah, because I mean, if you're, if you buy the $100 version for the Xbox One or PS4, I mean, it's the same game as the base baseline edition of 2k mm -hmm. like the six dollar version on like the xbox one and ps4 so like i don't know i mean even if they just charge like an extra 10 bucks i don't know it, it's it's a weird it's gonna be a weird transition um i think a lot of gamers now are kind of expecting everything this year to get a free upgrade yeah. uh, especially especially with xbox's you know uh, smart delivery um which i definitely appreciate stuff like that because I don't like buying games twice, but for the most part. But um, I mean, I think at the very least you should do ten dollars to upgrade. Yeah, like something like that. I don't know. Especially if it, if a game's coming out really close to the next to the next generation of consoles, mm -hmm. like NBA Two K is, or yeah, within like a couple bad. months or something. Mm -hmm. Like it'd be nice to get like a at least a, I don't know. I feel like a free upgrade would be nice, but I mean, it is what it is. It's it's. It's, it's 2K. 2K. So <laughs> I don't expect anything from them. Yeah, I mean, and they're, and yeah, like you said, the other developers are, are going to be looking at this, see how well this does, see kind of the outcry. I, I mean, I haven't seen much outcry about this, um, the price point. So I, th I feel like a lot of gamers are probably, a lot of maybe veteran gamers that have been playing for a long time kind of expected this increase at some point. Yeah. So um, next up is Hyperscape uh got leaked and then announced and then it's available to play now i think in beta right or is it just is it ready i can't remember it's in beta okay um but yeah it's it's ubisoft's um battle royale uh called hyperscape um did you watch any gameplay footage of this thing i did and it, it looks pretty cool like i like the city like i like uh, the map that it takes place in yeah so it's like it's yeah. definitely way more vertical than any other kind of battle royale it's like like you said it's in a city so there's no um like woods or anything like that uh it definitely looks more like quake like or maybe halo like where it's kind of like a lot it seems like it's gonna be a lot faster and there's like there's like what bounce pads and stuff to shoot you up in the air yeah and then, like, the, one of the cool features it has is if you die, um, when you're, like, in a squad, you turn into, like, a ghost. and you could, But you can also run around the map and call out where other players are. So that's kind of interesting. So it's, it's different than um, – or a little bit different than your, your standard uh, Battle Royale. So, um, I mean, if it's – and it's free, too. Um, so that is cool. I might, I might check it out. Yeah, it seems like they, they definitely didn't cash in, you know. They yeah, yeah. They tried hard to differentiate themselves from all the all the battle royales that are out there right now. Like yeah, yeah there's there's too many, but I'll check it out. I don't know if I'll stick with it, but um, we'll see. It look it looks interesting. It looks it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. And I like the fact that like the uh, when when the um, when the circle or whatever gets smaller, like the the area around it kind of disintegrates. Because it, take, it takes place in, like, a, a virtual world, 
out like you you i guess you hook into it kind of like the matrix or whatever so like as the the world shrinks the the buildings and the roads kind of dissipates like it pixelizes and then kind of disappears so you can kind of tell when it's about to about to fall or whatever um so that's pretty cool um compared to you know all the other battle royales having a storm coming through or something like that yeah so yep. that's cool you want to read the uh read the next one yes this is kind of interesting but fallout is getting a tv show and it's coming from the westworld creators sweet um i've never watched westworld but i heard it's pretty great um yeah. i think there's three, the three seasons of it mm-hmm. i'm all for it man i i love any sort of like post post apocalyptic tv um i watched the walking dead for a while and then i kind of fell off of that but i'm definitely excited for like the last of us tv show coming out so hey i i would definitely like to see something like this you know go on tv uh, especially since i'm not like a huge fan of playing fallout <laughs> <laughs> it, i do enjoy like the world and the stories and like the monsters and stuff right. i just don't More enjoy so the gameplay yeah exactly um so it looks cool i think um video games are much better suited for tv shows than they are for for movies yes definitely definitely um because i think there's a is there a resident evil show in the works as well i think so i want to say there is yeah i would definitely prefer like like just imagine the witcher like i don't think that would have worked on like a movie screen it's it's too too much much content yeah it's too much lore too much stuff to fit in in. Um, i think last of us was originally going to be a movie but now it's mm -hmm. now it's a show yeah i I think Um, the only thing that's really like maybe harry potter but like the lord of the rings i think is like one of those kind of perfect like trilogy of movies mm. um but I, I guess it could probably be better in a tv show which which they're making so <laughs> oh yeah that's been going on for a while yeah i think right? it's gonna be on amazon i think so lot, lots of good tv to look forward to uh especially video game wise and you can't forget about the borderlands movie that's that's just gonna be garbage <laughs> it's gonna be so bad <laughs> Like uh, I just if it if it has like any of the same humor as the the games, and I think I think aren't they, isn't, um, oh I'm forgetting Randy the Pitcher. developer, well, oh, Randy Pitch, Gearbox Gearbox don't Gearbox. they have something like to do with it? Aren't they co-writing or something? Maybe they're not. I don't know. I think I could they be, do. I think they have some involvement. I feel like Randy Pitchford process. would want to be involved in that, but. Ah, he uses magic tricks. To... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Man, that Borderlands just has a sour taste in my mouth now. Ever since. Yeah, I'm. I'm really glad that I didn't play three. Uh, I was really looking forward to playing it, and then I just kind of didn't. I just didn't pick it up. Um, and I've, I heard. Like, I heard it wasn't terrible. It just it was kind of just okay. I like a DLC to the second one. Yeah. Honestly. Um, next up is Dying Light Hellray DLC. I thought they were like way done with this game. That's okay. That's why I put this in there because it's seeming to me that there's not going to be a Dying Light 2 and we're just going to get... Well, it got delayed DLC. indefinitely. Yeah. Um, but the from what I saw, it kind of looks like... Like Doom. Yeah, it's like uh, a portal. Like a portal opens up or whatever and like demons come out. So like I'm not really sure... Uh, what's going on with that but it looks i mean i might i might check it out because Di- I mean, dying light was that was kind of like one of the early games i got for the xbox one um that game is like i remember playing co-op with you that yeah, game was fantastic it was fun yeah uh, especially so the, the grappling hook and stuff like it just looks mm-hmm. awesome just or, like it the was traversal awesome. in general was yeah so fluid and, and like that first time like you go out at night and oh, the God, that was freaky, that was, that was pretty intense what's going on noodles um but yeah, that noodles. Yeah, that was um that was pretty intense that, that first time. Uh, I can't yeah. I forget what they're called at night, but I don't know. Oh, Anyways, yeah. um, so yeah, yeah I might I, I might check that out because I know they had another DLC called like the Following, which I never that checked was, like, out a pretty, either. Pretty big DLC. I think. Yeah, like I think I, I think I added like vehicles and stuff to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I might check it out. We'll see. We'll see. Um, next up, uh, Final Fantasy VII, Seven Part, Part two, 2 is affected by COVID. Um, smaller chunks uh, yeah, yeah, going so, forward. 
apparently it's not affected that bad. Yeah. Like, I think they're still going to pro- progress, just not at 100%. And this kind of coincides with previous news that they were, uh, instead of having as big of a game as, as Final Fantasy VII Part One was, mm-hmm. they're going to split it up in, into smaller chunks. What What does that mean? So, like, two, no way. It's going to be two part one and then two part two and then two part three and then the part the actual part three uh it's beautiful it y'all are milking it to the nah i don't i don't know anything about it <laughs> okay well you know like final fantasy 7 um remake yeah took place like within the first the fourth, first city the first yeah. city of the game yeah. yeah and like they dragged it out for 40 hours and i don't know how many parts they had planned to, to actually finish the, the storyline of the game? But... I was thinking at least three of four. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like, I, and I, I've never played Final Fantasy, so like, or Final Fantasy VII, I should say, so I don't know exactly how far in that story that is, but um, from every, everyone that's played it, like, there there have been nothing but great things said. Like, even even though, obviously, it's not the full story of Seven, um, the game is still meaty enough to, to justify paying that $60. Um it's still it's still crazy to me that they didn't like name it part one or something. But because what um, are they gonna are they just gonna name this the second one part two? Or are they gonna yeah, name it? I don't know. Final Fantasy seven point five. I don't know. <laughs> Probably Final Fantasy seven two or something like that. Yeah. Um, but if it's if it's smaller chunks, that means we we or everyone else won't have to wait as long. Maybe to yeah. play the next uh, section of the. Or or maybe they'll kind of be developing it as they they'll kind of release, like kind of episodically, maybe something like that. I I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they're trying to avoid the episodic, like the branding behind episodic. Yeah. Just because they dropped any type of indication from their from their remaster or remake. Yeah. Um, But as far as like COVID goes, like I think that's kind of what we expected. Like most games this year. I mean, some have been affected, but it was kind of the stuff mainly going on next year was kind of what we're expecting to get uh, really affected and slowing down progress of um, development. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely, and I don't, I don't know when we should expect part two. Like, is it going to be next year or is it 2022? I don't know. I'd, I'd say 2022, but I definitely, I definitely do want to play the remake though. Like yeah. I just, I've heard such good things. Um, that I definitely want to check it out. Um, next up, um, what Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay got leaked? Oh yeah, it's Ubisoft. So yeah, yeah, of course, it everything. all gets leaked. <laughs> yeah, Ubi, Ubi leak. Um, I didn't, I didn't watch this. Did you see the leaks or anything? Yeah, well, I watched a little bit of it. It looks okay. like Odyssey in terms of in terms of gameplay. Okay, I mean that's kind of what we expected. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to watch like most of it until the actual game is revealed but yeah um yeah it looks good i don't know how much i'm going to get into into this one because i have trouble getting into assassin's creed games but yeah i i I haven't played assassin's creed in years so this might be the one i jump into Mm -hmm. just because i I really do enjoy well especially coming off of god of war you know a couple years ago i really do like that norse kind of like mythology um and vikings are cool so yeah um, but yeah, speaking of not having to wait too much longer, uh, the Ubisoft <laughs> Four digital event um, is coming July twelfth. So I guess we can expect stuff like Valhalla, maybe Far Cry Six. That's been rumored. Um, I think oh, who was the villain that they had said? It was uh, the it guy was, from Breaking Bad. From Breaking Bad. Um, uh, oh, it's his. I can't remember his his character's name. Um, oh my god. What's the company? What's the company? Or the the restaurant? The Chicken Brothers? What's... I can't remember. Uh, like Los wanna... Polios Hermanos. Yeah. And he oh, was shit. named... Gus. 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 Um, so yeah, I expect something probably Far Cry 6 related. Uh, maybe some Watch Dogs. Yeah, I we still... haven't heard from that in a long time. I still have Watch Dogs 2 that I've never actually... I played like the first mission of it and I never actually completed it. I didn't know you had it. Yeah. Um, 
I might need to check that out again. I don't know. I heard it was pretty good. Yeah, like the, the first one was okay. Numbers. Like the, the first one of like, I think his name was maybe Ethan or something. I don't know. But he was just so lame. Like he was such a boring character. Like he's he was always so serious all the time. Um, but then the second one, the character was pretty... Yeah, he was like a teenager or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, looks. I'll look, I'll look forward to watching that. Hopefully it's better than uh, EA's <laughs> live play or whatever that was. I forgot about that. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, thanks honestly, for ruining, for ruining honestly, my night. I always enjoy Ubisoft's. Conferences. Ubisoft's good. Like they always have some good stuff too. Yeah, they've always got some like pretty pretty good stuff. Yeah. Um, we'll probably expect to see a Rabbids game. Maybe a Mario versus Rabbids too. Ooh, that could be that could that. be pretty cool. That'd be big. Um, but yeah, and then last up, um, is Xbox Series X showcase uh we knew it was coming this month we didn't know when but now we know it's um july 23rd mm-hmm. um 12 p.m easter time 9 a.m um pacific. western or pacific time whatever so yeah i'm looking forward to that so that's uh two thursdays from this thursday yeah so not not too long to wait nope. to hear about and halo halo uh or the halo developers 343 responded yep Halo, Halo Infinite. Get ready for Halo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, Halo Infinite. Um, probably see some more. Uh, uh, oh, what's what's that one game? Um, sea of Thieves. Oh, we'll probably see like another. Oh, excuse me. We'll probably see another uh, Sea of Thieves content update or something. No, what's oh, what's the Hell game? Hell. Oh, Hellblade. Hellblade. We'll probably see another. Uh, another trailer for that, maybe some gameplay. Look, looking what forward are, to that. What else are we um, gonna see? Like, I, I don't mean, even they've... know what they're gonna. I don't know why I love Xbox so much because I can't even <laughs> think of the first party game besides Halo. Well, they've got so they've got they've acquired so many studios these past few years, but haven't had any games um, come out yet. So, um, hoping that we'll get like some Ori DLC, but that's probably stretching it. Um, yeah, because the first that. one didn't have it, but I would love to get back into that game with some proper DLC and the game actually being 100%. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's I don't know, that we'll see. That would uh, be cool. Did you uh, we didn't put it on the news, but you see the rumors of Xbox possibly buying um, like Rocksteady Warner Brothers games? Yeah, I saw something about that. I thought, yeah, that'd be a good move. Yeah, because they they were yeah that that would be a, a pretty pretty good get if they could if they could get them, um, so I wonder what that would wonder what that would mean for their like upcoming titles that they have. I, I'm assuming those would still be multi plat. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I, I would assume anything that's already in development would would go to both. Yeah. Just because if they own it, there's no reason for it not to. And then I guess after that they could, I don't know, put them onto something mm-hmm. specific. But yeah, they would uh, just kind of like um. When they, when they bought, um, oh shoot, I'm having like a blank on stuff tonight. Uh, Battle Worlds developer, um, uh, Obsidian. Obsidian, like that. They they had acquired Obsidian before Outer Worlds came out, but since it was already being developed, they put it out on everything. Um, okay, yeah, I forgot they had acquired Obsidian. Yeah, so maybe maybe we'll see something new from Obsidian, possibly. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, there's there's double fine, whatever that they that they had. Uh, Probably see any of Forza. Oh yeah, Forza. I'm sure we'll see something. Uh, let me, let me... That's gonna be the second game that they show. I guarantee it. Hold on, I'm googling their first party studios real quick. Let's see. Uh, Mo Yang Ninja Theory. Uh, maybe we'll see something new from Ninja Theory. I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed with that. The um, what's that one game they put out? The Blood, the Blood game. Blood game. What was it called? Uh, it came out earlier this year, like in February. Was it a multiplayer game? Yeah, it was like a free to play, or it might not have been free to play, but it was it was on Game Pass, of course. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I just can't think of it. We might see. Shoot, what was I just? We we might see Elder Ring, 
Yeah, we, that, that's a lot. Of, that's what a lot of people have been saying. Um, Elden Ring. Elden Ring, yeah. Um, so we've got what Undead Labs, which is the State of Decay developers. Um, World's Edge, which is the Age of Empire developers. Turn ten. I think, or I think they're working on Age of Empires. Um, the Coalition, obviously, with Gears. I don't think I don't think we'll probably see anything from them. I would love to see um, Gears Six though. Oh, I know. So nice. uh, Rare, obviously. See if they use yep. their main game. Compulsion Games. They they did. Uh, Contrast and We Happy Few. Excuse me. Um, they got some good. They got some good stuff. So we'll see. Yeah, I think I think we could be. We might be pleasantly surprised by this one. I think so. There's some yeah. good stuff to look forward to. Hopefully, hopefully they'll kind of learn their lesson from their their uh, their third party whatever gameplay debacle that was. But um, yeah, they. I think they have to know that the stakes are kind of high. Yeah. Off of off of the PlayStation Five. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people were, were pretty high on uh, that showcase. Mm-hmm. They, they showed a lot of great, great looking games to look forward to. Um, so yeah, I think they've got to kind of. I think this is kind of it, other than like knowing about price. Um, do you think they talk about price here? I don't think so. No, I think you think they. They called wait. it an Xbox game showcase. I yeah. think they did that for a reason. Yeah. They don't even want to allude to price. You, th- you think they wait till August to show the, the 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 Series S and price? Yeah, yeah. I think they'll show the S and then they'll put the price tags the or whatever. For both okay. of them. Yeah, I feel like August is like the last kind of I mean it's the last month they really can like I mean you gotta ramp up marketing and pre orders and all that stuff, so I'm sure they have some financial data that shows that pre-orders don't typically happen until the yeah. third or fourth quarter of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Waiting, but, uh, we just want to know. Yeah, I just want to know, man. I've heard rumors that like 400 bucks, like I, I, that just seems too low, man. I, I'm yeah. like five. Five sounds like the sweet spot. Yeah, like five. I'm five. I'm, I could do like six. Is that's expensive? That's an expensive console, <laughs> that's, and, that, and that's, that's why. I'm going to go with the Xbox just because, like, you're going to get so many free games with the Game Pass. So, mm-hmm. um, and then I'm, I'm, I'll wait for the, the, the PS5. But, but yeah, some good stuff to look forward to, man. Um, and then, of course, if Nintendo ever decides to drop any sort of random uh, direct or something, I mean, I mean, they, they, could blow, they, they could blow everybody out of the water. Who knows? If they had it between Ubisoft and Microsoft, I mean, that could be. Yeah. They, they, they show Breath of the Wild 2. Like, they start the show off with Breath of the Wild 2 coming yeah. uh, November. They, they, next gen is crushed. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Might as well pack up your bags, Microsoft and Sony. Yeah, don't even show those price tags. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, there's who knows. And I, I, I haven't seen any more like rumors about any sort of directs coming, but I heard there was going to be one this month based yeah. on the Reddit threads. Okay. Today. Scour, scour, yeah. I'm itching for one, man. I'm itching for one. Those, that many, that many was a tease in the, the Pokemon ones. Aside from, uh, Snap was kind of a letdown. So, what was announced in the mini one? Anything notable? Like I know they showed Xenoblade and some more, but yeah, nothing great. I mean, nothing. Okay. I mean, they dropped they dropped the Paper Mario kind of out of nowhere. Um, I think like, that was, late, yeah, that was late, video. late May, I think. Or early sometime in May, I think they dropped that that trailer, so that wasn't even part of the direct. So I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they still having them together right now. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely should have been like an ender. I'm surprised For they didn't. Sure. I'm surprised they didn't do that with the mini or with the mini direct. What, like, I feel like the, yeah, if, if they put that on the end of that, like maybe that, that would have kind of evened out a little bit. Still wouldn't have been a great direct, um, but at least it would have been something maybe to look forward to. Ready. Maybe maybe they didn't think it was gonna come out. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's gonna do do the show this week. Um, appreciate everyone that that tuned in, um, that's been downloading the show and all that good stuff. Um, if you wouldn't mind leaving us a uh, a nice review on your favorite podcasting platform, that definitely definitely helps out. And just sharing sharing the podcast with your your family and friends in general. If you have like family members or friends that like video games, um, share it to them. Let let them let know what know. It, let them know what's about. Uh, Nick, where can they find the? Uh, where can they shoot us emails to? 
uh, gaminwiththebros at yahoo.com. I repeat, gaminwiththebros <laughs> at yahoo.com. Yes, Yahoo is still around. Yes, of okay. course. Yahoo, man. Just as good as AOL. Yeah, just as good. Just as good. But yeah, you can send us any sort of uh, what you're looking forward to, suggestions, improvements for the show, um, what you don't like. I don't know. Any any sort of like segments that you want, to, want us to do. We haven't really done like a new segment in a while. We kind of like, I don't know, we did like the music thing for a little bit and like the topic of the week. But yeah, it gets, it gets kind of hard after a while to come up with stuff. It does. Um, don't, don't send us any death threats about our opinions of Last of Us, though. Yeah, yeah. We liked it, okay? Gosh. Jeez. Yeah. We enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to wrap it up. And we'll uh, we'll see you guys at uh, next Monday. 8, 8.30-ish. 8.30-ish live on Twitch. Always 8.30-ish. <laughs> Bye, guys.